What, you think I'm finished? And a bit of unconventional. I have two drain covers. Yes, you can get these from your big box uh, hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever. And I have made this semi-plain piece of paper sparkle. I've done the same with another piece of scrap paper. And you look at it one way and you see the floral design. You look at it another way and you see the sparkle. This is a piece from uh, Die Cuts with a View. And when you look at it, you see the print and you see that it's black and gray on white. But when you tip it, when you turn it, then you see how glossy it is, the embossing effect that's on it. Well, you're doing about the same thing with this, but in a different pattern. You can still see the paper and see the flowers and things, and then you can see the little bit of shiny. All right, on this drain cover, and this is how you would see it in your shower drain or in a basement floor drain. And I have a circle one as well. And, and that's, here's where it screws in there. And this one I think just sets down. I don't, I don't know how this works, but anyway. <clears throat> I'm going to use this makeup sponge <clears throat> and my Versamark. I'm going to load the sponge and then work it into these squares. When you're using paper like this, you can't really tell since this Versamark is clear, you can't really tell if you're getting the ink in there or not. Hopefully I got it in there. So now I'm going to lift this off. And when you pick it up, You really can't see where the embossing ink is, the Versamark is, until you, there, you tip it around and you just hope you've got it where you want it. And you're not going to know until you put the embossing powder on. So let's see, what color? You know, I'm going to do clear, and I'm going to show you how, how about some of this iridescent ice from Stampin' Up. I'm going to show you how you can make your own paper, um, a shiny paper instead of going and buying a whole pack. There, now you see the the embossing powder. Then you'll need to repeat this pattern several times. Uh, but heat emboss it before you go on to the next one.
Now when you look at the paper, when you first look at the paper, it just looks like the regular paper, but when you tip it towards the light, then you can see the shiny bits of the embossing. Uh, Friday, this coming Friday, I'm going to show you how I'm going to put all of these things together. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with all of these things. Put them together in projects. So you'll know, so you'll be able to do something with the things from your own space. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We're going, I'm going to continue on with this heat embossing for another week or two. So join us and you'll get to see the new videos as they come. So until next time, this is Leslie from Message in a Fold saying, now you go show someone how special they are. Bye.